Good morning guys, so I'm just running upstairs to get myself a jumper. We are off out this morning. We are going to Lakeside, but not the like shopping centre. We're just going to the retail park. Um, just run upstairs, I'm completely out of breath now. <gasps> I always do this. So yeah, we're going to the retail park because Ted needs some new clothes and I don't really fancy going to Primark because it's a bit of a horrible experience with a mask on and being indoors and having to wear a mask all the time. So I'm going to go to Asda today because I went there at Christmas and I found some really nice clothes for him in there and I thought that we could go today and Ted could pick himself some summer clothes because he needs a few bits for summer <clears throat> excuse me so I thought we'd go there and see what we can get I might also buy a few bits for myself but I'm not sure yet yeah? and <laughs> we need to buy a bread bin so we're taking our loaf of bread with us as well um, <laughs> Basically, we buy a round sourdough every week from a market stall on our local high street. And um, we need to find a specific size bread bin to make sure that the uh, sourdough fits. If anybody knows of a bread bin that um, fits the sourdough in when it's not cut up or anything, then please let us know in the description box below because we'd love to know. Um, but yeah, we're going to see if this one will fit a sourdough and a loaf of bread in it. Oh, excuse me. So that's what we're off to do this morning. And I thought I'd make a vlog of the day as well because I haven't done one of these for a little while. I think the last one I did was when we went to the beach. So yeah, I thought I'd make a vlog. And as always, I thought I'd take you with me. So we'll see you later. Bye. Guess what? We're taking the jet bread on the ditch ship. The ditch Did you see? You said right, you okay, saw... well, let's, should we take that out and then. Um, okay. There's more than one there, it's not like there's more than one there. The other one I saw, it's sort of more rectangle. No, it's more rectangle. Well, I haven't seen that one actually. Well, that's very similar. Yeah. Well, that's that's quite nice. I like that well, one. Have a look at that. And then the one I saw. You prefer the wooden one, do you? That fits. Yeah. It looks like quite a lot of fit actually, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that one's very similar. This one's a lot more, but it's oh, ceramic. Yeah. Oh, so, so I think all of them are going to fit, but yeah. that won't fit anything else in. Whereas that one, I think you'd probably fit the yeah. sliced loaf. What as well. about the one? No, that's fine. That one. I mean, it is, that is a decent size. Yeah. Um, it's just that will in if you can't, but then you just lift it off with your hands anyway once that breaks. Yeah. And then if that does come off, you could actually slice on that, can you? So you don't yeah. have anything to catch the crumbs, that's all. Yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's do right, that. Can one. we investigate then which one's better condition? Um, I think the one the like jug mask. Okay, that one. And then walk out with that lid. Yeah, okay then. Switch them over. Hello, so we are on our way home now. Ted got something from Smith Toy Superstore. He got a Fortnite character. And I have I got a microphone yesterday and a headset. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I can talk to my friends. Yeah, so Ted is now playing Fortnite on the Switch and some of his I, friends in his class are as well, aren't they? Yeah. Harry and Ethan. Right. And these people are his friends in his class. There's two other random ones. Okay. And uh, they were playing online and they all had headphones and I felt a bit bad because he didn't have any, he couldn't speak to them. It's got a mic on it as well. So so we bought some, Howard bought some. Uh, Turtle yeah, Beach was, Recon 70 It was meant to be for my birthday. Headset. It was meant to be for my birthday but he just, they said, oh stuff it, I'll get it tomorrow. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> it. They actually came on Saturday. Yeah, the women's turn up today actually and they came yesterday. So, so yes, Teddy's very pleased with his headset. So we have been to Daniel Mill. We've got Ted's clothes from Asda as well. We are now on our way home for lunch. It looks like a bit of a grey and dull day. We were going to go out for a walk later, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, Howard has just suggested watching a film to Ted this afternoon, and I might make some biscuits. So I think that's what we're heading home to do now. Background noise is the boys watching a film and they're watching it through the speaker as well. Howard bought a surround sound system speaker. So if you can hear that noise, it's them watching a the movie. So what I've come on here to say is I have just filmed a, what we bought Ted, a boys haul, boys Asda haul. So that will go up after this video. So if you're interested in that, that will be up tomorrow at 7 a.m. in the morning, Sunday morning. So now what I've got to do is they always give you the hangers. And as much as I like going shopping, I do wish they wouldn't give you the hangers and that the shops would reuse them. I know they probably can't for some stupid law, but yes, this really annoys me. So I'm going to hopefully go to the charity shop tomorrow. And I'm gonna take the hangers with me when I go and hopefully they accept the hangers because I really don't want all of these hangers in my house. So yes, I'm going to empty that wardrobe now as well. And then hopefully I'll be able to go down and make some biscuits in a little while as well. So while I was in here, I also sorted out Ted's wardrobe as well. So as you can see, he's got his all his shorts here. He's got his long sleeve t-shirts here, which I'm hoping he won't need on his trousers and his jeans there as well. And then he's got his short sleeve t-shirts and then we've got jumpers, his school uniform stuff, and then a coat and some dressing gowns as well. But I think I'm going to, I like using these for Ted's wardrobe. So I think I'm going to have to go and order some more of those wire coat hangers because we haven't got many of those. And I just like the way it looks with all wire coat hangers. I know it sounds silly. And I've also sorted out his drawers as well. So he's got his new socks in here. I should probably take out the old ones, shouldn't I really? I've got to unpick those later. And then um, underpants are there, vests that he doesn't really wear anymore, but we've still got them. His pajamas, and then down the bottom is all his spare stuff, which we haven't got a lot of at the moment. But he does have a jumper, Christmas jumper for next year now, and a t-shirt as well. So, that's his wardrobe sorted out this afternoon as well. Hello, so it's me again. <laughs> Who else would it be? It's my vlog. That's what Howard always says to me when I say things like that. Um, so yes, Howard and Ted are currently in the living room. They're watching Star Wars, as I said, through, and through the speaker as well. So it's rather loud. There were there was um, a scene where there was lots of like it sounded like cars it's probably spaceships or something going round and round and round it sounded like I was in the middle of the M25 earlier so that's why I've come out the back here um, so I'm going about to make some biscuits and I thought I'd share with you the flour that I'm going to use because I made a pastry out of this the other week and I think that recipe will be up on my blog very soon. So I made a, um, oh, oh, a quiche, like just a, like a, a cheese and bacon quiche. And I made it with this rice flour and quinoa flour. And I have to say it was really nice. It was really tasty. Um, so this is sorghum flour and I bought this online. It wasn't cheap, but I have to buy the organic because the other stuff says it might have gluten in it. So anyway, I bought this and I tried it in the pastry last week and it was so delicious. So I thought I'd make some biscuits out of it today. Um, as I said, this is sorghum flour and they use sorghum flour in lots of Indian cooking. I think um, it's a product of India so I'm assuming they use it in India a lot so yes I thought I'd try this in the biscuits today and I just wanted to share it with you on here um, it is quite tasty I have to say but this was rather expensive so if you can find it in an ethical shop you're probably better off or if you don't have to buy it without the glute with the it's got a glu gluten warning on it if you can buy it with the gluten warning on it then please do 
but yeah I'm gonna try this now so I'm out the back again as you can see um, Howard is currently on the computer he's trying to uh, clear the hard drive and stuff because I'm having difficulty uh, like formatting these card, the SD cards for my camera and stuff at the moment. I'm having difficulty taking stuff off it on the onto my laptop, onto the laptop. Um, so Howard is actually checking it at the moment. My little IT technician. Uh, they finished watching that film. Ted wasn't really that fussed by it to be honest. I think he was more interested in waiting around um, to get on his switch. He has switch time from four until five in the afternoon. Um, so he was. I think he was itching to get onto that because he knows that his friend at school is playing at the moment. So there he's upstairs playing with his friends from school. So. I might take you up and show you that in a moment um, so yes I've made the biscuits they're in the fridge at the moment I always put them in the fridge after I make them because I find that when I cook them on my stoneware it makes them go that bit much crispier so I've put them into the fridge for uh, probably about 20 minutes to half an hour then I'll put them in the oven and tonight we are having roast chicken for dinner um, the chicken is in the slow cooker so all I've got to do is cook the vegetables and I am really looking forward to dinner this evening I don't know why I just really I think I might have mine with sweet potato though and try and be a bit healthier so yes, and the boys love theirs with potato, parsnips, carrots, cabbage. I've even got some chicken stock for some gravy as well. So yes, dinner is smelling delicious. I can smell it now in the house, making me slightly hungry, I have to say. So yeah, that's that's our day so far. Um, it's just been a bit of a weird day i'd say it's still quite strange isn't it at the moment um due to the situation we're all sort of waiting around waiting for things to open and personally i have a funny feeling they're not going to i don't want to say that i don't want to sound like a pessimist because people are like no it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and i'm like mm, yeah well, let's just wait and see shall we um so yeah it's a bit these it's a bit of a strange one today. I'm just feeling a bit weird, I think. I don't know why. I just feel a bit like, huh, like that. You know when you just feel a bit, huh. I'm happy, but I'm just a bit, huh. I suppose I'm just a bit fed up and probably thinking, waiting for it all to open and thinking it's not going to open, Alexis. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> anyway... I shall, um, I shall take you upstairs and see if I can get you a bit of video footage with Ted on his headphones. He is shouting rather loudly though, I have to say. He's on, on there with his friends and he's, he was screaming like a girl earlier. So yes, I'll see what I can do for you. now 10 to 8 I'm sorry I haven't filmed much today and it's all been me basically um, sounds very uh, big-headed doesn't it it's all been about me um, yeah uh, I thought this day would be a bit more interesting than it actually was in the end it was a bit grey and cloudy so the boys didn't really fancy going out anywhere so they watched television and basically I made biscuits and made dinner and just pottered about and I've literally been pottering about for the rest of the afternoon just been doing little things around the house so I put the bread bin in which I'll show you in a moment as I said I finished the biscuits and I we also built a box for our shoes by the back door our shoes tend to sit on the mat by the back door and um, it does look a bit messy so I suggested that we buy a box for them I did want one with a lid at first but we couldn't find find anything suitable so I just got one like Ted's toy boxes um, and yeah I'm gonna put it under the chalkboard over there so um, so yeah I'll show you my biscuits and my breadboard and my box now so these are the biscuits and basically they're just plain biscuits with um, vanilla extracts in them 
if I can find the vanilla extract. We bought this one from Tesco's and it's the Taste the Difference Madagascar Vanilla Extract. Um, and I've had a biscuit, the boys have had some biscuits as well, as you can see, because they've messed up my pattern. Um, but they liked them. Ted said they were a bit dry, but they were all right. I reckon these might be quite good for dunking in a cup of tea as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to put these on my blog in the next week or so. It might take a little while longer for this recipe to go up. But I will link my blog in the description box below for you. It's Googie's Kitchen Life if you are interested. And there are lots of biscuit recipes on there for you as well. I think the last one I did was an orange and chocolate chip one, which was delicious. And I think that's gone up already. So yeah, so that's the biscuits. I'll move on to the bread bin now. So this is where we've decided to put the bread bin. Please ignore the glass jars. They've got to go out to the um glass bin the recycling around the back of the house so they've they've got to go out but yeah this is the bread bin and as you can see it fits our round sourdough it also fits a long loaf in there as well so it is quite a big bread bin and we are really pleased with that um, and it fits perfectly in this corner when we were thinking about buying it Howard did say to me where are we going to put it and I said in the corner where we used to put the slow cooker um, the sl one slow cooker actually blew up in this corner. The underneath got wet here and the wire got in the underneath and it all blew up. There were actually flames from it and everything so now I cook with the slow cooker around there. So yes, I thought the bread bin would be perfect in this corner. Um, and it is just a brilliant idea really. Um, so yeah, that's the bread bin and now I'll show you the shoe box. So this is the shoe box that Ted has kindly moved, but I'm going to put it under here. Um, and I just thought, slips away in the corner quite nicely. Um, and yeah, it makes this mat look a little bit tidier. Ignore these shoes here for the moment. They're Ted's old ones, so I'm going to take those to the charity shop hopefully tomorrow so yeah that's it so it makes this whole corner look a bit tidier now and then this slips into the corner quite nicely and uh, and yeah I just thought that made that look a bit neater as well really so yes that's all the things I wanted to show you um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here uh, as I said I've had a very busy day just pottering about the house basically um, the video after this will be of Ted's um, what uh, Ted's haul that I did so his clothing haul boys clothes haul yeah that's the one yep and then I think the week after that we're actually going to go to the beach again maybe or we're going to go out somewhere so that's going to be a vlog where we actually go out somewhere which will be nice um, we don't go out that often obviously due to the situation um, but uh, when we do it's really lovely and I really enjoy it I think we all do I think we all enjoy the break of getting out of the house um, it's a bank holiday weekend and then Ted will be on half term so yeah so I don't really know what we're going to do during half term don't really have any plans I'm hoping the weather isn't that great because then the playground might be free um, if the weather's not nice then lots of people won't go to the playground but actually Ted and I have discovered that if we go to the playground early then there tends to be not many people there so we do try to get out early so we avoid the crowds and stuff um, so yes we'll probably have lots of trips to the playground during half term I'm, I've no doubt about that and yeah I'm not sure what else we're going to do uh, and I think, as I said, I'm going to end this vlog here. I really haven't got much else to say. And I'm actually feeling quite tired now as well. I literally could fall on the bed and go to sleep, I'm sure, for about 10 hours. But anyway, yes, that's me done. Um, and I'm going to let Ted do the outro again. Um, I'm not... I'm not too, he hasn't been in this video much, only a couple of times. So, yeah, I think I'm going to let him do the outro now. So, I will see you later. And here's Ted. Hi. I enjoyed this video. Please feel free to give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave any comments below. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. 
you soon. Bye. <laughs>